Yo, what's going on, guys? And today, I'm in the bathroom, actually, but look, Nate Jorgen's been fired, and this was a rumor that was going around for a while, and I'm actually really surprised. So, Andrew, Adrian Wojnarowski, Woj, obviously, Nate Jorgen's out as Indiana's coach, sources tell ESPN, and he continued that tweet with saying, Jorgen was informed today of the decision to dismiss him, sources said. He met with management on Tuesday. Pacers are expected to pursue a more experienced, established head coach in this process. Jorgen lost the locker room and much of the organization, organization in his one year as a coach. Pacers have a roster that should be a solid Eastern Conference playoff team with Sabonis, Brogdon, Karis LeVert, Miles Turner, and TJ Warren, and couldn't move forward with a young coach who struggled managing locker room and staff. Had Pacers began to move towards a rebuild, maybe Jorgen had stayed. So, do they go Steve Clifford? I think that's where they go. Steve freaking Clifford. I think Steve Clifford would be a great coach. He'd be a phenomenal coach for them, and he's a win-now coach. And he's never had a legitimate roster. He went to the Charlotte Hornets and he had to rebuild the Charlotte Hornets around Kemba. Took him to the playoffs. Then he came over with Vooch, Aaron Gordon, and Evan Fournier and took them to the playoffs. He's a playoff winning coach. Steve Clifford, in my opinion, is ideally the coach that they want, you know. And we could all say that, like, it sucks. So the Athletic just released an article. In his only season in Indiana, Jorgen went 34 and 38. He was previously an assistant with the Toronto Raptors before the Pacers hired in October. Maybe Nate Jorgen goes to the Orlando Magic or back to the bench for the Toronto Raptors. Pacer players, including stars Sabonis and Brockton, voided, voiced their dissatisfaction with Jorgen in general and unhappiness with this down season. The Pacers won their first playing game against the Hornets 144-117 but lost to the Wizards in the second game 142-115 and were unable to secure a playoff spot. So, so with now that he being fired, I think, look, TJ Warren was gone for the season after only four games. Then they traded Victor Oladipo for Karis LeVert. And Karis LeVert, you know, he he didn't shake off the rust. The whole year, he was trying to shake off the rust from that major kidney surgery. Jeremy Land missed a copious amount of time. Malcolm Brogdon had an assortment of injuries. And Miles Turner was amazing on the year, 3.5 blocks a game. But he missed the last month plus with a turf toe. And then the list goes on. This team was only together, like the whole team, for four games, and that's it. And from a distance, you would think that Jorgen's return next season would be a no-brainer. They weren't good enough to make the playoffs, but when you're giving star minutes to your bench and missing two to three starters every game, you would seem warned to give this guy a second chance. But look, with him getting, getting, getting fired a year ago, the Pacers, who were moved to action, they fired Nate McMillan after it was determined that his old-school approach were up the best players on this team the wrong way and another thing was he was 3-16 and 16 in the playoffs so yeah and I don't know man Pritchard's gotta find a guy I think Steve Clifford's the guy you want I really do believe Steve Clifford could be the best guy and hey Nick McMillan and Dan Burke who was another guy Dan Burke's on the is an assistant coach for the Sixers and McMillan's head coach for the Hawks and look what he's doing I think Steve Clifford really is the best coach for this job. Um, I'm kind of honest about this, Steve Clifford. The only other guy I could really think about is, I don't think they're going to go back to the Toronto bench. Maybe Mike D'Antoni, but then that ruins their defense. You know, I really like uh, Sean Livingston, was it? Not Sean Livingston. Jerry Stackhouse, Jerry Stackhouse, my apologies. Jerry Stackhouse would be a great coach. Juwan Howard seems like he's got a lot of pull. I don't know. <laughs> they take Brad Stevens, that'd be funny. But basically, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think of this? That's pretty much it for me today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this video, but peace out.